quite a scare, really, for anyone who uses ATMs. Cambridge police are now alerting the public that thieves were recently able to steal money directly out of people's bank accounts in the Central Square area after they obtained customers' bank information using a secret device known as a skimmer. Cambridge police say they are aware of at least seven instances of this happening in their area between last November and this past January. And although they say the scam isn't isolated to Cambridge, they're not saying which banks or ATMs were compromised. Well, joining me now to talk more about this scam and how to protect ourselves, McAfee security expert Robert Siciliano. Robert, first of all, explain to us what ATM skimmers are. So bad guys have... Um uh, a, a device that looks like the face of the ATM. It's a facade. Okay, It fits over the card slot. Wow. That's and then when you slide your card through, it records the information off the magnetic strip on the card. So it's not the actual slot that you're putting your card into. Well, you're putting your card in the slot, but over the slot is another slot. Yeah. You know, it's a facade. It looks like it belongs there. And it reads the information off the back of the magnetic strip, and they burn that information onto a blank ATM card and liquidate your bank account. Brilliant. Any idea how this came up, how they came up with this, or how long this has been going on for? So more than likely, there was a, um, a discovery amongst a number of different uh, bank and bank customers who said, wait, hey, we have this problem, and then they realized that on a particular time frame, all of these uh, uh, withdrawals happened in the same time, and ultimately they determined that they were skimming. So how do we protect ourselves from something like this if you know we don't even know that that device is on our ATM machine? That's scary. Yeah, most people aren't going to know that they, that there's a skimmer on the device because it looks like it belongs there. You know, it's a, it looks like it's part of the machine. So what you do is, is you cover up the uh, keypad with your other hand as you're punching in your PIN code, and the camera that records your PIN won't see the PIN they can't get money out of your account. So they're actually hooked up to the camera. They have the camera fed wirelessly into their laptop generally within a mile or two. Unbelievable. Yeah. In this situation, the scammers were getting the information, it seems like, around the Cambridge area, but then they were actually withdrawing or transferring money in New York City. So is that what you've been seeing a lot, too, where they're then remotely taking the money out? Yeah, generally, they don't want to uh, circulate the area and withdraw money. They'll go to uh, New York. They'll go to Vegas. They'll pull out large amounts of money in a short period of time until you either recognize the fraud right. or your account's exhausted. So obviously that's a way to protect yourself on the back end, look for withdrawals, uh, transactions that didn't happen anywhere that you visited. Yeah, so besides covering up the keypad with the other hand, you have to watch your accounts. I watch my accounts daily on an app on my mobile phone. That way I'm in tune with every single charge. You can do it online or, or via monthly with your statement. And have banks come up with any technology yet to detect whether thieves are putting these things on their ATM machines? I mean, shouldn't the bank be responsible for this as well? So new ATM uh, technology senses a lot of this stuff, but they don't all have that same technology on all ATMs. That being said, chip and pin, the, the, the uh, Canadian, Mexican, and all of Asian and Europe credit card uh, generally will be a more effective credit card in the next year and a half. It'll protect us and pre prevent ATM skimming. So you want to make sure your bank uses that kind of a card? Right now, only 5% use chip and pin. It's going to be about a year and a half until Visa, MasterCard, American Express require chip and pin for everybody. Okay, other quick question. Question too: If you do get money taken out of your account fraudulently, will the bank normally cover it in this See, kind of a scam? Yeah, that's the thing. You only have two days by federal law to respond to fraud in your account. You have to call the bank within two days to let them know. Wow. Okay? That being said, the bank generally has a zero liability policy as long as they believe that you, in fact, were scammed. So you really do still have to pay attention to your accounts. Absolutely. All right, Robert Siciliano, a lot of great advice there.